I want to explain God's plan by comparing our life's journey to taking a trip in a car. Now before we start, I want you to make sure you have a pen so you can fill in the blank. We already saw point one in your notes, that God has a plan for us to do greater works than Him, John 14, 12. And what we're going to see in a minute, that God's plan consists of five Ps. Point number two, you've been completely prepared to do something great, Ephesians 2, 10. Just like when you take a trip, you need a spare tire, you need a first aid kit, you need GPS, all those preparations to make sure your trip is successful, God has made all the preparations for you to do something great with your life. Point three, there's a simple purpose behind everything you do. Anytime you take a trip, you gotta make sure you follow the map. Our purpose is simply to follow the directions and do what God says. First John 5, 3 says to love God is to obey God. That's our purpose. Point number four in your notes, what we will do will sometimes involve pain. The third P is pain. Just like you go on any trip, there's gonna be a detour, there's gonna be a flat tire, rain, your engine light's gonna come on. In life, there are gonna be some unexpected detours, but pain doesn't only have to hurt. Point five in your notes, God has provided power for you to do something. Ephesians 3.20 says that God can do exceedingly abundantly more than you can ask or imagine according to the power that works in you, His power. You can't go anywhere in your car without a powerful engine. God has provided you spiritual power that He's gonna do something in you and through you with. And point six, if you're gonna do something significant, you're gonna to have to have passion that constantly screams, don't quit. No trip is any good unless you cross the finish line. Your life is not gonna be any good unless when you die, God says, well done, good and faithful servant. And that's because you did everything He told you to do.